guys, welcome back. Today I'll be demonstrating how I made this four tier graduation cake with whipped cream. I'm using a four, six, eight and ten inch cake layers. Each cake consisted of two layers of cake and a filling in between. I covered all except the four inch cake with white whipped cream. And if you want to see how I prepare this whipped cream, I have a video up on that showing you the steps, so click the eye on the upper right corner to watch that video. Each cake has a cake board underneath and after frosting the cakes I inserted some straws into each of the cake tiers except the 4 inch one which will be the top one. I do this to support each of the cake tier. Bubble tea straws are best but I couldn't find any around here so I ended up using some that aren't quite as durable. So for the bottom tier I also inserted some dowels into the straws this way making sure the cake would not collapse. I also frosted with whipped cream and I added some black gel food coloring to the cream and you can't make black whipped cream at least not to my knowledge if you guys do have a way of coloring your whipped cream black well I'd sure like to know how but I'll be spray painting this cake I'm using Wilton's edible color mist and after I'm done frosting the cake I'm just spraying on the paint until my cake becomes all black stacking my cakes I am measuring out how far apart my lines will need to be and once I'm done with that I'm taking a cake comb and I'm pressing it into the cake to make the lines. And for cleaner lines make sure to freeze your cake for at least 20 minutes so the whipped cream is all set. I didn't freeze my top cake only the bottom one. I don't know if you can tell in the pictures but the lines on the bottom tier were a lot neater.
made all the fondant decorations a day before and I really needed them to dry fast so I ended up drying them in the oven. I wasn't sure if it was going to work but it actually worked perfectly. I heated my oven to the low setting which is 150 degree Fahrenheit and left my fondant pieces in the oven for about 15 minutes and then just took them out and let them cool completely. So if you don't have time to make your fondant decorations ahead of time, that's what you will want to do. I ended up spray painting the fondant as well. I could have probably made it black but I didn't want to use so much black food coloring and so I spray painted them as well. Adding fondant decorations to the side of your cake, just make sure your cake is cold and the whipped cream has set nicely so you don't end up with your fondant decorations sliding off the cake. Mm -hmm. 